Hey, this is Perch, and we're doing a review right now of a um, comic book by John Celestri, uh, Snuffy and Zoe. Now, if you've been on Twitter, you've seen John's uh, artwork and his material, and uh, he's really he, he, he's trying to take aim at an incredibly underserved, like I've talked about in the past, audience for um, books made for kids. So comics that are really fun, that are going to really try and appeal to kids. And he's smart because you see that Right now, you've got Dogman, and you've got a lot of books that do really, really well in the market. Um, I should add, I've got a, I'm, I'm joined here by my daughter, and she's going to help me review this book. Hi. Yeah, there she goes. So um, we are we're taking a look at this. I've got a nice advanced copy here, um, and and I should say, you know, I'm I'm very inclined to like uh, what we're going to see here because again, it's, it's an underserved market. You know, a lot of customers coming in looking for this kind of thing. And there's just not a lot out there. People like to make these, these comics that they say are for kids, but then you pick them up and they're really not. It's, it's clearly written by an adult who wants to make a book for another adult and they're kind of kidding it down, so to speak. Does that make any sense? Mm. Nah. Nah. Yeah. So anyway, so Stuffy and Zoe toy box adventure. So, um, right out the gate, I think it, we're, we get the character introduction. Now, the the bigger publisher books do the same thing, but we've got Snuffy here and we got Zoe here. Which one do you like better, Snuffy or Zoe? Or both uh, the same? Zoe. Zoe? Why do you like Zoe better? Uh, she looks sort of cute. <laughs> okay. And he looks like, and Snuffy looks like he has big hands, giant tooth, and large eyes, and large nose, and he looks fat. <laughs> okay <laughs> but is he cute is he fun yeah for sure um i like the introduction of the characters here uh we get a little bit it's again it's it's sticking in character uh zoe cheerful very active full of curiosity always asking questions about what makes something tick so he instinctively thinks ahead tries to keep from stumbling into trouble but doesn't always succeed so it's it's this makes sense to it's that, that makes sense doesn't it yeah. It's not this kind of weird eighties joke, you know, where we're it's 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 not intended to make sense. Oh, and um before we get into the book, we've got the this books belongs to, which is awesome. That's a that's a wonderful throwback. But these characters are just fun. Um so they are bouncing around. What do you think of this? Cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now would you read this if if this was a score? Yeah. Yeah, no, zero hesitation. All right, so uh, we're getting a basic adventure, uh, Zoe and Snuffy playing ball. And, um, she, you know, I'm, by the way, I'm going to just show parts of this. You should go out and fucking get your hands on this book. So we're not going to show all the panels here, but, um, they're basically playing some balls. It's some, some kind of craziness, but a thunder cloud is coming in and the ball goes right into the thunder cloud and thunder clouds like, or, you know, <laughs> with the tongue and thunder tongue. these kids almost hit me in my thunderhead and the thunder clouds come in and they basically, Playing an innocent game of baseball, but trouble has emerged. So um, then she's she's taken off. And again, you've got the expressions here are just wonderful. I mean, the you've clouds got, are barfing thunder. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> kablam, and they're running. But I I love the I mean just the the animation the action of these characters is just really really nice. It's very expressive. You get um, you kids will never play outside again. And the thunder is just like keep it. What do you think about this? They have no, they have no switch. Who? Yeah. What do you do? You like uh, how do you like this? Oh, you lost, you've lost chocolate. Okay, this is why I should not have chocolate uh, yeah. while doing a review. Did you eat the entire thing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You have a big test tomorrow. I know. All right. Well, this is going to be great. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, we've got the now we've got this scenario. We have uh, Zoe and Stubby. Um, snuffy they are uh, they're in the house they're trapped the thunder clouds are just basically ruining everything and um they basically discover they're sitting on this toy box you know hey why don't you just use your imagination you can do some fun things inside they go inside the toy box and zoom right into the toy box oh, and this is cool this is cool. very very cool all right so they are they're falling inside the toy box and they're in the fun zone and immediately there's another wacky adventure so they, we've got this kind of it's a good book uh, for, again, for kids because the adventure is just one step, one step, one step. So we go from playing ball to an accident occurs to they're trapped in the house to they're inside the toy box. And we get some nice, uh, and so it's both a relatable situation 
and not. It's relatable in that, you know, kids can really respond to this. You're already reading ahead and checking everything out here. And, um, Who's but a red cactus? obviously, I mean, Nose has superpowers, see? So now he's leading the way. Um, oh, he is? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he's in the front there. Um, and so he's just following his nose, following his nose, and he's walking around. And it's, it's, again, these are, these are fantastical situations. They're not what kids encounter, and yet they're immediately, kids can understand. So it's a valley huge, filled with a huge pile of giant cupcakes. Yum. Okay. And they are both like, I am impressed. Uh oh. It's stuff he's about to just dig in, but Zoe is investigating a little bit further. And what does she discover? There's a massive. Cute. It's it's cute, not dangerous. Cute. The drag, but the the um, the dragon. They're like, we got to get out of here. Snuffy's like, hey, cupcakes. He's still thinking about that. She's like, splat, you know. And they're just taking off as the dragon is coming around. And it's again, we've gone from we've got from baseball to storm clouds, to trapped in the house, to into the toy box, to discover giant cup of, of uh, cupcakes, to now being chased on a dragon. We are on page fourteen. There's a ridiculous amount of things going on here, and what's making it work is um, is that the the characters are just so expressive, and so um, you know you the action they're running fast, they're getting carried. There's fire, they're pulling up short. Uh, they're sorry because they're stealing a cupcake. They're going to give the cupcake back, and um, but their hands are stuck to the cupcake. It is. Uh huh. What's going on here? Our hands are stuck to it. And the dragon's now like, you're going to, you you steal a dragon's cupcake, either eat it or you're eaten. So now they keep going from good to bad, to good to bad, to good to bad. Every, every action is going into another adventure. So it's just, again, I got to, I'm very impressed with the amount of, of action material that's happening on every single page. So every single page is giving us something new and a new part of their adventure. And now they're running off again uh, with the cupcake. They don't know how to get get unstuck from the cupcake. Duckies. Rubber duckies. They just bash right into it. Squeak. Uh, now the rubber duckies are all over the place. Hits the dragon into the dragon's nose and smash. And it's, it's you know. Snotty duckies. Where are we going to go? Snotty duckies. Where are we going to go? Which way? Which way? Wrong way. Trapped. And now it's time to be eaten. And so they basically shove the cupcake forward into the dragon's mouth and they realize they've just been having an adventure in their imagination. So while it's been raining outside, they've been having this crazy fantastical adventure, eating the cupcakes, playing with the toy dragon. Do you have a toy dragon kind of like that? It's not green though. Could I get it? You want? Yeah. Okay. Always, always something new. Um, anyway, this is a really fun comic and it's something that's going to appeal to kids. It's something that's going to be, be great. And after you get done with the issue, now we're going to learn how to draw some things. With Puppy. four easy steps. You wanted to give this a try? Mm, yeah. Okay. How about Zoe? Which one do you like to do better, Zoe or Snuffy? Uh, I don't know. Both? Yes. Both? Yeah, both. Okay. All right. We got a dragon. Um, so we've got a lot of good drawing lessons. We've got some coloring. There's just a lot to do here. So so you get a comic, you get some material. And, and again, the comic is, you know, the actual comic is 22 pages here. Um, which is equivalent to, you know, the current amount of publishing that is out. And then you're getting some fun things to do. So you get some excitement. You can make your own comic. I saw Robert Duckie. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. You were wound up. It's because you ate all that chocolate. Yeah. Um, anyway, so a lot of good stuff here. Um, and well done, John. I think this is uh, some really great stuff. And I just think, I, I, I think there needs to be more of this. Um, and we get a preview for number two. What do you do with a stinky pirate? And it looks like it's back into the toy box. Um, and we got a stinky pirate. I don't know. So obviously, um, you know, there's a lot of, you can't see through the video, but a lot of happiness uh, here from the target audience who would like to get going and draw some of this. There's a target audience? You are the target audience. Oh, I am? Yes. Okay. This is made for you. Okay. All right. Yay. Yeah. You're being silly. You're, you're, you're being very, very silly. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I, I think that um, it's this is this is as I've repeated. It's an underserved market. 
it's a place where there are people, you know, kids wanting to get into comics and get into comics in a fun way. This is a big adventure in 22 pages. There's a lot that goes on. The animation is very nice, very crisp, very expressive. People bouncing around, jumping around. You, you can tell whether you read it or not, you can tell what's going on. And I think that's really important for new readers and kids who are not quite sure about some of the words. So they can kind of get the idea from the picture. That's going to help them figure out what's going on in the words. And I think this is, this is really important for comics, that there's something like this going on. Do you like comics? Yeah. But what, do you, what comics do you read a lot of? Mm, oddly normal. Oddly normal. Okay. What else? Um, do graphic novels count? Yes, of course. Dogman, Captain Underpants, uh, uh, Wings of Fire. Yeah. Um, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A bunch. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Lots of manga. Mostly graphic novels. Mostly graphic novels. So there you go. There's the audience in our future. Um, anyway, uh, well done, John. I think this is great. I, I look forward to seeing a lot more. And I think for anyone, if you've got kids out there and you're trying to introduce people or maybe just you want to do something nice for a school, um, grab a copy of this. Get this Get this going. This is what's going to bring kids into comics. Way more than some of the other efforts that you see, again, from the publishers when they're doing comics that are written not for kids and not for kids simultaneously where they're trying to kind of write down to kids that's not a successful comic this is a comic written for kids just like uh, Raina Tellmagger does uh, comics that are for her audience uh, Pilkey does audio comics that are for his audience and they're successful when you talk to the audience like they are good things happen so great stuff thank you very much you thank huh? you yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, uh, give us a try. Subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, please come on in. And uh, again, a huge thanks to John for providing the comp for this copy. I would happily pay for this, though. So uh, well done. Uh, very, very, very great. Uh, please keep at it. This is exactly what we need. All right. See you later. Thanks for listening.